Traffic. Our top story tonight at 6. Part of downtown Macon is getting a new look in the next two years. Construction is about to begin for Central City Commons near Poplar and First Street. Today, developers updated commissioners on those plans, and 41 NBC's Ed Ruiz has the details. I really do think it's going to bring about a big change here in the downtown Macon area. Carlos Hall walks the streets of downtown Macon every week, specifically on Poplar Street. I've seen a lot of vacant buildings right here. But soon those vacant buildings will be known as part of Central City Commons, a project that's been in the works for three years. I never would have thought it would actually take them this long, but we've been very meticulous about the planning and selecting everything involved in it. Tim Thornton and his development partner Miller Heath updated Macon Bib commissioners on the plans for the commons. Two hotels, one being a Hyatt Place, apartments, retail space, and parking garages, all coming to Poplar Street and DT Walton Senior Way. People have told us that the hotel will really be a game changer for downtown. I think it will. I think it's, it's sort of the missing component that downtown needs to kind of put the icing on the cake. Hall is one of those people. I think it will really bring a lot of business here downtown and I think it will really wake up the city. Hall says what he looks forward to is seeing the parking spaces. More than 300 spaces will be available for people visiting downtown. People sometimes they have to, you know, find different ways to park and, you know, with it, with it being so busy during their, um, the, the daily shift. More parking, living space, and change. Hall can't wait to see. The traffic here and the people here, I really do appreciate it. I like the revitalization here in Macon. I like the change here in Macon, so I really do appreciate it. In Macon, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. Construction is expected to start in the next 60 days. After that, it should take 18 to 24 months for everything to be done. Thornton says they hope to open doors by the beginning of 2019.